Hi, I have something that is on my heart uh, to say to you today. Uh, in Exodus chapter 15, uh, verse 26, it says, I am the God that healeth you. And I want you to, I want you to keep that uh, in your memory banks for, uh, for right now and even as we end this video. I want you to know that it is God that heals you on the inside and on the outside. I have seen in my spirit wounded individuals that have lived with abuse in their lives for a long, long time. And this is not pleasing to the Lord. He does not want His children to live in abuse, abusive situations. And you know, in John chapter 4, there is a familiar passage to many of us about how Jesus was traveling and He said to His disciples, I must need go through Samaria. I have to stop in Samaria. And he sent his disciples on into town uh, to get food for them. But he went to a well in Sychar. He went into Samaria and into a little town. And he went to a well. And it was 12 noon. It was hot. The sun was bright. And there was a woman that came to the well. And she came there particularly at noontime when it was so hot because she had been persecuted. She had been abused uh, with, with words and actions. And she came there uh, so that the other women uh, would not criticize her or bring judgment against her. And she came and there Jesus met her. Jesus met her and he talked with her. He asked her, will you give me something to drink? And she said, well, you don't have a jar. You don't have a bucket uh, to draw from. And he says, I'm going to give you water that you will never thirst again. I'm going to give you living water. And that's what he wants to give you today. Those that have been abused, those that have been emotionally, sexually, uh, verbally, physically abused, both men and women, I am speaking to you today from my heart that the Lord is the one that heals you. He is the one that can bind up your wounds. He is the one that can give you living water. You know, he said to this woman, go get your husband. And she says, I have no husband. He says, you speak right because you've had four and the one that you're now living with is not your husband. There has to be something there in that woman's life that caused broken relationships, that caused uh, that, that part of her life to be unfulfilling and not godly. And the Lord wants you to know that there is no condemnation. In Romans chapter 8, it says that there is, Romans 8, 1, it says, Therefore there is no condemnation or guilt to those that are walking after the Spirit and not after the flesh. So do not beat yourself up. And do not say to yourself, I am the one that this, this abuse is coming upon me uh, because... I'm the one that caused it. I didn't do this or I didn't do that right. Let me tell you something. Abuse is from hell. Abuse is from the enemy's kingdom. And if you're in God's kingdom, then you do not have to accept abuse. You do not have to put up with it. And Jesus will give you living water. He will come and he will sit on your well and he will heal you on the inside and he will heal you on the outside because Jesus is the healer. He is the deliverer. He will deliver you from that situation. Don't think that you have to stay in an abusive situation. If you draw nigh unto God, he will draw nigh unto you. He will come to you as you come to him and you say, Lord, I don't want to put up with this anymore. I want deliverance from this. I want redemption from this. 
and the Lord will be right there. He is an ever-present help in the time of trouble. Be healed today. I pray for you. If you're in an abusive situation, male or female, boy or girl, that the Lord will deliver you and set you free. In Jesus' name, I'm Sherry White, and I'm coming to you from Fountain of Life Ministries International. Thank you for being.